Hey folks. All right, I'm going to go ahead and post another setup of the fly trap. It's been pretty successful. A lot of people evidently have a lot of biting flies that they need to get rid of. So I have several older, couple years older videos of setting up this fly trap, but this is the 2022 version. And I'll just walk you through everything and I'll make sure, because there's still questions about measurements, I'll make sure that I measure everything and that you have a full comprehensive view of this fly trap. So stay tuned. Okay, the first thing here is the trap and toss. And what I do, pardon the mess, I got a lot of projects here. What I do is I take off these tabs here at the very bottom so that it'll, they'll sit flush. And I just use some tin snips to gently, hopefully I don't bust the plastic, but to gently remove those. See how that that's, does a really nice job there. I don't, before I've cracked the plastic and I don't want to do that. So there's only three tabs here and then you're done with that portion. Okay. Okay, what I'll do right now is just give you the measurements here for this. There's basically two pieces. It's the top and then the base. The top, or I'm sorry, the base The legs are 2 by 4 and they're 45 inches. There's four legs and they're basically screwed in. I have also 2 by 4s on the bob, top and bottom and they overlap. This one across this area is 36 inches and Same thing here, it's 36 inches, but this side is a 36 inch measurement, whereas this is a 33 inch, and the other uh, three inches are taken up by the inch and a half on either side. So again, it's a square at 36 inches each side, but the pieces that make it up are a 36 inch piece and a 33 inch piece. Okay? But yeah. And then it, it basically the top it's flush at, at the top and then it's down. This one is down 15 inches from the very top. Okay? Now this one again is the top. is decking board that I cut in half. Again, you want 36 inches across. So this side is 36 inches. This side is 36 inches different, but you just basically want it to be to cover this entire thing. Now the, the 45 degree angles are basically a two by four I cut in half and then use my miter saw to put a 45 degree angle so that I could put this uh, plywood uh, top on. So these are, let me see here, it's about 24 inches. It doesn't have to be precise. So 24 inches and the height, I have to kind of estimate it here, is about 17 inches from the bottom to the top, about 17 inches. And then there's a three quarter inch uh, plywood top that has a hole cut into it. Okay. And I have a roofing screw here where I can tie down the um, trap and toss, which you'll see. Now inside, is a fishing hook. So, see that fishing hook? That's kind of, that is ex, that is um, suspended in the very middle by two hooks. 
that'll uh, hold the ball. So I got to set up the ball. Now in some years I've painted the ball black and this year I'm not doing that. Last year I didn't do it either or like two years ago. But it, it seems like the ball wears out, it gets deflated and I just go to Wally World and get a very cheap ball. This is Gorilla Tape by the way, but you can use mat you can use uh, duct tape. Okay, so what I did here was just take the tape all the way around the ball and have like a tab here that'll hold the ball up. I take the fishing hook and I just poke it through and that will dangle. So you want it, basically you want it to dangle down below. That's simulating a cow's belly or a horse's belly. That'll attract the flies. And then of course the trap and toss and you need to take the bait out of the trap and toss. And I'll go get some water and some gloves because this really stinks. Okay, what you do is you just basically take this out. That's the bait. It has a water soluble packet and you just drop that in there. And I'll go get some water, just a sec. Okay, so that's really it, and what I'll do is I'll come through uh, over a couple days and I'll show you how much it catches, but this is uh, middle of June and this is when the biting flies are most active around here in North Carolina, so um, yeah, looking forward to showing you how it catches. Hey folks, it's a week later and after I set up the uh, biting fly trap and uh, by way by the way it's Father's Day so happy Father's Day to all those fathers I got this awesome cap uh, <laughs> love that show so give you a whoop we got a little bunny who just ran off okay um yeah catching lots of flies you see that so it's working. Lots of flies. So yeah, I'll go ahead and post this up uh, tonight and uh, hopefully you can build one like, like uh, this one and you'll have no problems. I have had no problems with biting flies since I set it up. This is 2022 uh, in the summer Father's Day. So Signing off.